Now what is your dirty secret? Boy, if you don't- Whether it be you put a booger on somebody's desk, or you farted and walked away, crop dusting everybody, or you, you cheated on a test, or I mean, I, but this one's a little bit more serious. Coming at you with a new series, Dollar Reacts. Um, actually, YouTube recommended me this video, like whatever YouTube recommends when it's like late at night or randomly in the day, like cat videos or or um, parkour or weightlifting or uh, strange addictions. YouTube can recommend some pretty interesting stuff, but this but this type of content, I got a video from Reddit King recommended to me. Shout out to his video in the description below if you want to check it out, the full video. Other than that, we got permission to do a reaction video of it. I've only watched two videos from him. Sorry, just two, not four. Just two videos from him. And um, they're, they're really interesting and something entirely different from this topic, but they were really interesting. And I, I was just like, wow, this, this would be awesome to do a reaction video too. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. And let's start off with the very first person. They hadn't even met each other yet. So there is no foul play. We met at a party. Both of us had recently gotten out of long term relationships. So we were able to kind of bond over that. One thing leads to another and we hooked up that night. Both of us decide that it wouldn't be smart to jump into something after a long term relationship. But we also decided that we really liked having sex with each other. Crazy sexual chemistry. So okay. we decide to basically just be each other's booty call. We seriously didn't even text that much unless it was about meeting at my place or hers. It really was just about sex. This goes on for about a month and then she meets my buddy through a mutual friend and they pretty much fell for each other immediately. They've been together for 2 years now and I honestly think they will probably get married. I know they've talked about it. For a while, her and I considered telling him. But we've since decided that we are pretty much taking it to the grave. The way we see it, it's just not worth the potential damage it could cause to both our friendship and their relationship. Nobody did anything wrong. They didn't even know each other. Sometimes it's best to just leave the past in the past. I mean, with this one, so... Okay, a couple of, a couple of months before one of my best friends and his girlfriend started dating me, her hooked up a lot. So, okay, um... He did go in to say that they both just got out of a long-term relationship. So again, with that, that's like more of like an emotional, I wouldn't say damaged, I'd say emo emotionally exhausted from the relationship to the point that they don't mind being together, but they're gonna be friends with benefits. So I mean, I could, I could see that reasoning, you know, just to be void of any emotional ties per se or kept kept to a minimum. But I mean, I could see that, but like, oof, but then when you're, I get, wait, hold on. This goes on for about a month and then she meets my buddy through a mutual friend. So that saying is that the dude that's giving the story right now, it seemed like he was cool with just, you know, smashing and then doing his daily thing with, you know, like work life, etc. He was cool with that. But the chick, I guess, she must have recovered, you know, out of it a lot faster or she was probably still looking. Not looking, but like she was still more open minded than the guy. Or maybe the guy didn't find anybody. But I guess the girl, you know, found her chance, got onto it, and now they're, they're, he thinks they're about to get married, but now that the kicker is, for a while, her and I considered telling him, but we've since decided that we are pretty much taking it to the grave. I mean, with that, it's really a 50-50 right there. It's it's either you risk all three of your, relation, all three of you, relationship-wise, if you tell them that they've been smashing before you even did it, then I already know that's that's gonna cause a rift. I mean, to me, there's a very high chance that it can cause a rift in all three, or possibly more, possibly the families, possibly, you don't know how that guy will react. He can next day, come up the next day with a knife or a gun, you really don't know. But I mean, keeping it on the back burner, it's, it's really up to those two people. I mean, it, it's the more passive approach, the less, the most least risk associated with this problem. But I know it sounds scientific as far, but I'm trying to think that if I was one of the people, if I was one of the people that did this, then it's, it's really, I don't know, with this type of situation, like, you can't go wrong with not telling them, but if you tell them, then you know it's gonna be a lot of turmoil. 
At worst, it'd be little turmoil. I dated a friend's girlfriend while they were dating. She was cheating on him and I had not met him yet. Two years later, he and I are good friends and at a bar chatting about exes and she came up and he laughed his ass off. He said, knew oh, she was okay. cheating, but couldn't ever prove it. We are still good friends and we <laughs> laugh about how we're cheating bitch cousins. He and I did not know each other yet when it happened. We met later but through mutual, mutual friends. friends. man. Uh, the world must be small, but... Dated a friend's girlfriend while they were dating. She was cheating on him and I had not met him yet. So, I mean, with that comment, it's like, did you know what he looks like? Maybe, depending on the length of the relationship, she might have showed who it was, so... But they came good friends, so... I want to say... If he didn't know what he looked like, or if he didn't know what he looked like, and they became friends, then it's kind of a, you know, it's kind of whatever, it's coincidence. But again, just like the first one, it's like, either you tell him and ruin the relationship, most likely, or you don't. But I mean, either or, it's just one of those things, man. It's like, how do you, do you value, you know, honor against uh, the relationship? You have a good friend, so I mean, and it's pretty funny they were joking about it, too. So, I mean, not too bad, not too bad. I used to make up whole people and tell my friends that I was friends with these other people and how cool they were and how much they liked me. I probably made up somewhere around 10 friends of mine and no Damn. one was any the wiser. I'd Shit. tell everyone that I was staying at my fake friends' houses and eating with their family and stuff. On the internet I'd make up my fake persona what? and fake family. I did this from the ages of 8 to 12 before I realized it was dumb and stopped. I had a broken home. My half-sisters didn't care about me, and I had no friends because I was constantly bullied and was constantly bullied because I had no wow. friends. I've never told anyone this or come clean about it to the people I lied to. I just wanted to pretend to enjoy life, man. That's gotta be the most depressing thing I've heard all year. Like, geesh. I mean, wow. I mean, I, I get it, you know, external... Uh, forces, you know, influenced a lot of this from being bullied and then your family not, you know, caring and then a broken home. I see, I see it. I mean, yeah, it happens, especially at a young age. It can be pretty traumatizing, but I mean, he, he knew what he was doing. He got out of that mental image. So that's good on his part. Like, he grew out of it. And then this, this has probably made him a stronger person. But man, whew, that sounded pretty rough. So, uh, I mean, Probably the most depressing one I've seen yet. That, that's, geesh. Hopefully he's doing good. I once attended a wedding as an event photographer with my crew. When I finally had a break and one of the members offered to take shots while I take a quick pee break. I used the bathroom at the far back of the event. While there I heard weird noises and upon opening one of the stalls found that the bride's dad was having sex with one of the bridesmaid. After the event when the bride's dad was paying all our crew and handed me my pay I whispered to him maybe a little extra and I won't tell the bride he got angry but he ended up paying me twice my pay. <laughs> God dang, quick draw McGraw in the stall right there. Smashing, I mean that, that's pretty bold man. That's pretty funny. But I mean, yeah, he did go a little extra with the, you know, the bribery. So, I mean, that's pretty funny. This one's actually a pretty good one. So, not too bad. Not too bad, Oxus. My ex told me to drug her and do with her what I wanted. So, I drugged her and played video games all night <laughs> with friends. She still thinks I ducked her multiple times that night. Not my thing. But she wouldn't stop pestering me about it. It's kind of weird. I, I feel as though this is fabricated in some way. I, I don't know why. That's just... I mean, with billions of people on this planet, I mean, I guess you'll have that one person who, who's into getting drugged and having somebody do something to them. I mean, but like, there's too many negatives. <laughs> there's just way too many negatives. That. That's like, that's like, that's like having somebody tell you to knock them out and then take their wallet because they want you to. That's like, it's just no. It's, it's like, it's like Mount Everest. It's like the, the it's like the positives is greatly outweighed in the negatives like it's like mount everest was deciding to fall on you know uh bugs life whole uh, whole uh scenery like yeah, that's how much the negatives are with don't i mean the only positive would be is that okay you had sex with your what used to be your girlfriend but i mean that's no i mean other than that 
not in this day and age, not in this time and age, because you would be ridiculed. You, oh, it's just no, it's not a good time. But this one is kind of iffy. My mom assumes I lost my virginity to my first serious boyfriend in high school. In reality, it was one of the guys working construction on the new house behind us. <laughs> Definitely glad I faked sick from school that day. Edit. I was over the age of consent, so what everyone messaging fuck? me stop asking. Dang man, that's some savage stuff right there. <laughs> wow. Wait, so hold on. My mom as soon as I lost my name to my first series boy. Oh, okay, so never mind. It wasn't it doesn't really specify if it was during a relationship. But man, you mean to tell me that thing Bob the Builder was laying down train tracks, laying the pipe, and then some. I, I bet you after he smashed this chick that he took every shift after that day. Just to just to if she was if she was gonna be home that day, he took that shift. If she was freaking even in the radius or if she had the house for the night, best believe he took a double shift. This man was he was laying the pipe. He's a legend. Alright. Posted this before. I lost my virginity to a friend of mine's mom. Story. Summer of 81. Summer of 81. Was lawns to make some extra cash having just gotten my license and needed gas and insurance. Since my buddies, Bob, parents split up, his father moved back to Wisconsin and left his mother the house. As part of the visitation, Bob spent summers in Wisconsin. Bob's mom, Marky, asked me to mow their yard weekly while Bob was away. Marky was in her mid-thirties looked a lot like Marianne from Gilligan's Island with bigger tits and a lot less modest since she was typically in a bikini and sunbathing when I was there to work. The third week in June was super hot and I was mowing shirtless. She was laying out as normal. I had stopped to take a drink and empty the lawnmower bag. Marky called me over and asked me to lotion her back. I did and got a huge erection when I did. She rolled over. Saw the obvious tent pole in my shorts and smiled and said she knew how to deal with it. <laughs> I said okay what? in a forest gump kinda way and she pulled down my shorts and gave me my very first blow job right there in her backyard. I came ridiculously fast and she just swallowed it while looking in my eyes. I got hard within minutes and we just let nature take its course. We met up twice a week for the rest of the summer. She taught me quite a bit about pleasing women including massage, foreplay, oral and positions. So my future girlfriends and wife have Marky to thank for all the skills that she I mean I would respond the during the action story but I feel as if I keep pausing and then responding. I think it'd be annoying to people but I mean this one was this I mean this was a, one of the longer ones but Summer of 81 this, uh, I feel as if this was referencing something but I mean man this dude came in this dude came in to mow grass and then came out with the skill set of Johnny Sins. Like he came out a legit like she she was like the she was like the buffs you would need at Borderlands and then he came out with with all the upgrades of Johnny Sins. Like she was just this is ridiculous. This is some massive luck. So I, I gave a huge shout out to this dude. Like he oh he, like it, it, it was a destiny to become Johnny Sins in a way. I I, I salute that's a legit. I started feeling clit stimulation when I was very young. I'd hop on a table with my leg crossed underneath me and then rock back and forth. My mom is super conservative and did not feel comfortable discussing the birds and the bees with me, or why it tickles down there, so she would just tell me to stop without explaining why. Because of this, I never understood that it was a sexual thing or it wasn't appropriate to do in public. I just thought it tickled and felt really good. Starting at around 7 years old, my friends and I would fully hump each other when we got home from school. <sighs> like, go down to the basement and hop on each other's legs and just go at it. We would just go in turns getting each other off without ever understanding what we were actually doing. I haven't spoken to the girls who I used to do it with, but I'm assuming none of us have told anyone else.
Uh, yeah, man. Part, part of the weirder ones I've seen. Uh, I didn't even know that was scientifically possible for a seven-year-old to feel that type of stimulation. I thought it was like a once puberty hit, then you know that stuff started happening. So uh, yeah, this was uh, pretty weird. I mean, okay, but the, the my friends and I would fully hump each other when we got home. Okay, that's pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie, that one's pretty funny because I can, I can picture the fucking, I can picture somebody just hopping on somebody's leg. But I mean, that's weird, man. That's that's pretty weird. And there you have it, first reaction video of, oh, excuse me, Ooh. Ooh. Uh, of what's your dirty little secret, uh, this one, this one was good, this one was a good one, I haven't, I have yet to see a bad one, I only, I've only seen two other videos, so I mean, I wouldn't do a video on those, I mean, it wouldn't be genuine, it wouldn't be a genuine reaction, but shout outs to Reddit King for giving me permission to do uh, reaction videos on his videos, uh, very appreciative of that as well. Um, came to the agreement as long as we show some support on his channel on the original video, as long as we say, you know, give some give some support, put a comment in the comment section saying God was here. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you for even getting uh, at the end of this video. Um, if you actually did get to the end of this video, make sure you elbow drop that like button, subscribe, favorite, tell your grandma, tell the bird outside, tell the dogs, you know, everyone's evolving, just kidding. But other than that, I thank you for getting to the end of this video and make sure you show some support. Uh, tell me what you think in the comment section below or my Twitter uh, handle at Sir Got Like. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna post five and then out of that support of the actual video or out of all the videos, then I'll keep continuing. If not, then it is what it is. I'll go to the next one. But this this one will be more of the active series I'm thinking of. I'm thinking if we have some good following or support, I'm thinking two to three, two to three videos two to three videos a week would be good because these are pretty easy to do but um yeah let's see if we can get 10 likes on this video make sure you show some support and as always